Hey everyone, let's create another report in GA4. This type of report is called a predicted channel value report. And the idea here is we're gonna use predictive analytics in GA4. So this is an AI feature of the platform. There are many AI features in the platform. You know, you can create kind of predictive analytics type audiences and also a variety of different metrics can be included in your reports, all referring to kind of churn or you know, the possibility of purchase with varying dates and percentiles that you can include. So what we're gonna do now is actually segment our data based on the probability that somebody will purchase. So let's go and do that. All right, so again, this is the home page. We'll go over here to explore. And let's click on free form. Okay. So let's start clearing stuff off because I want to start from scratch. Okay. Tabula rasa, blank slate here. Let's start from scratch. Going to clear off everything in this template because I'll show you exactly what I want to visualize. Okay. Here we go. Now this is totally from scratch. So I wanna go over here to segment. So as I mentioned, I wanna segment my data. And so if you go here to user segment, we're gonna build a new user segment. So let's click that. Scroll to the bottom and you can see here that there's an area that allows you to choose predictive metrics. Okay, as I mentioned, you can choose metrics based on churn probability, in-app purchases probability, predicted revenue, and purchase probability. Let's go ahead and click on purchase probability. And then we have to filter that. So we have to drill down in the kind of probability we want to apply to our data in our table. Most likely to purchase, that's a good one, right? You can play around here and just, you know, check it out. But you all apply that. So this is the most likely to purchase, the top 10% of users, right? Perfect. So I'm going to call this something. Uh, yeah, purchase probability, that's good. Probability. Save and apply. And then we're gonna add a few different dimensions here. First user source is what I want to add. Source. And first user medium. Okay, these will all be very useful soon once we start to visualize it. I then want to add, I then want to add some uh, some metrics. I think actually for the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to add active, oops, can't type today, active users. There we go. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and just start dragging stuff over. So metrics can be dragged over to values. And dimensions can be dragged over to rows. Okay. So first user source has been brought over. First user medium has also been brought over. Now I'm gonna change this also to um, a heat map. So if you scroll down, To chart type you can or sorry cell type you can change it to heat map okay it'll show you the probability so this is actually quite nice it says here out of 10,174 active users they have um, people coming directly to the site have the highest probability of purchasing if they come from Google, they have the second highest at 1,000, 
939 active users. And then third, in third place, you've got paid media. So cost per click has the third highest probability of buying something on the Google Merchandise Store. Okay. Now we can change the segment. I wonder if we can add a second type. Let's have a look. So in segments, go plus, click on user segment again. And so let's call it something. Let's call it predicted 28 day top spenders. And we'll go down to the predictive metrics again. And then we'll type on, we'll type in, or sorry, we'll choose predicted revenue. Most likely to be top spenders. Let's check this out. So this is within the next 28 days. So not only are we segmenting by the probability that somebody will purchase, but we could also segment by uh, how many of these folks are, are predicted to be the top spenders in the next 28 days, right? So for example, more customers might come to the store by typing in the web, web address directly. So this would be kind of a direct gateway to the site. And you can see that in, in direct. Watch, I'll show you. Uh, those who are coming directly to the site are actually the ones who are predicted to be 28 day top spenders. Okay. There is a segment of those coming from the newsletter that, um, that are predicted to be 28 day top spenders. So that's interesting as well. And you can actually see which newsletter contains the highest amount of predicted 28 day top spenders. So this is kind of AI in action. Yeah. It's a really nice way to kind of show how customers arrive to the online store, whether directly from another site or via email. And uh, you can see here that it's predicting which visitors are more likely to spend more in the next 28 days. You know, if you look at this one here, this segment, and it also shows which users have the highest purchase probability out of the total number of active users. Okay, so this is a very useful AI forward report that you can run in GA4. And you can do all of this in the Google Merchandise Store. So have fun with it, follow along, and uh, hopefully that was useful. Take care.